Thinking back to last season, there's only one moment that stands out for me, and it was the four minutes I had against Bristol where I suffered a significant break in my arm, which put me out for a lengthy time of the season before I was to luckily make my return in the final. Last season um, started off really well for me um, and for the girls. We were really excited for the second half of the season. Uh, we went to Bristol away, which was the top of the table clash. It was one that everyone was waiting for. Four minutes into that game, I suffered a significant break in my radius and ulna and damaged my wrist. I just got caught on the wrong end of a tackle. I didn't really feel it, thank God. Um, my arm went quite numb. Um, I remember someone rolling off me and Marley Packer's face just looming over me, being like, don't move, don't look, like, just, just stay with me. Um, so her and May were like, holding my hand through the whole thing. When that happened, I was like, that, that's me done for the year. Like, I, I didn't know what was going on. There was risks um, of, of loss of limb, like, that was the scary part. So it was all, it was all a lot on that day. I remember they got me into surgery within two days. And then after that, we, I sat down with the medical team and the coaches um, and we came up with a plan. If we were being optimistic and, and I was ready, I could return for the semi-final, if not the final. So that was the hope and that was the plan. It was really, really difficult because this was my first pretty much ever injury that was going to keep me out for a significant period of time. I was really, really lucky because the girls were so, were so supportive and all rallied around me. The love support from them, like, gave me that little bit of hope and kept me going. The coaches were unbelievable and the medical staff were working me day in, day out. I never once felt in this team that I was outside or not a part of it. You know, I'd still come to every training session. I'd still be there for the girls. Having them all around me and pushing me all the way was, was pretty significant. I'd had conversations with coaches and medical team about what my timeline looked like, and we'd pushed for the semi-final. The coaches were brilliant. They'd put off naming the team because they wanted me to be up for selection, which was a massive confidence boost and, and help in my push to get back. I got the phone call on the Thursday that told me that I'd be ruled out for the semi-final, and that was probably the first time that I was properly broken up about my injury. But again, the coaches just got behind me and they were like, look, we, we've got now got a job to do. The girls said, we've got a job to do for you, which was absolutely unbelievable. The semi-final was a pretty special day and I still felt very much included and involved. I was on the pitch at the very end and everything that helped me get back for that final was pretty much down to the girls and keeping me in a good headspace. I never once felt like I was out of it. After the semi-final, I remember them all coming up to me afterwards and being like, you've got one more chance now, like you've got two weeks, you've got one more chance to get to get back. And to have come off the back of such a big win, to have done what they just done and for me to be at the forefront of their mind, for me returning was something proper proper special for me. So yeah, they were always behind me. They, they were always had the confidence in me and, and knowing that was really, really helpful in, in my return. Going into that day, there was a proper buzz. You know, the Saris crowd getting off the getting off the bus and seeing them all with their flags and, and all their kit was, was pretty special. We were covered in confetti and like, it was a day that, that you can't forget very quickly. So it was 13 weeks to the day that I stepped onto the pitch, which was really quite bizarre. It felt quite surreal. I was physically, mentally ready. Like I knew what I had to do. The girls had done such a good, good job up until that point. So when I did get the call, it was like 13 minutes, I think I got on the pitch and I just remember running on and just being full of smiles. Marley Packer looked at me and she was like, you're back now, let's go. And that final whistle went, I just, I burst into tears. Um, I grabbed Sonic, it was just like, it was just pure relation, especially after the defeat from last, the last year. Lifting the trophy with the girls was something that I can never imagine. Like, I honestly could not have been proud at that moment to, to have been part of the Saris girls. Yeah, for myself, reflecting back, I did take a couple of moments to just be like, how, how did this happen? Like at one point I thought my season was over. I thought that all hopes of chasing the title. When I got the phone call to the semi-final, I just, everything was, was a lot. Sorry, 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 sorry. To see the photos of all of us with our with the trophy is something that is very, very special. And I think it, it's it's been a well win, but it's also one that I probably wouldn't change at this point because it, it really was pretty special to step onto the pitch and play a small part in it.